situation for those armored cars that they can this can easily end up very badly for them. Overdrive from both of them, not exactly sure why though, but one is hit in the rear, heavily damaging it. Panzerman is moving over the Gewehr 43 and armored cars not really doing anything to support those Panzerman grenadiers. I'm not entirely sure why. We really do some heads, but there we go. Engineers taking quite a bit of fire and quickly retreating once more. Rain just getting closer. And we'll hold using some grenades. What? Yes, there we go. Rain the lobbing a grenade running into those panzerians. Oh dear. Panzer grenade down. down to only one man and he's running straight into the line of fire off the rifle and rangers. And is dead. So that's another panzer grenade team lost, leaving only behind the ones with the assault rifle. Not really looking good for Kraser 911. And we are seeing some Luftwaffe personnel being summoned onto the field. Alongside an armored car. Rangers pulling back though in the face of those assault rifle equipped panzer grenadiers. But a lot of armored cars and of course now Luftwaffe personnel with a bit more repair expertise which can swiftly repair those armored cars. So that's certainly not a bad idea. In fact, those are good. Let's give him a first look. In fact, we've also gone for Falls from Jaegers, which will certainly a bit more help. Looks like, yes, a rifleman team is caught out on its own and without support was quickly cut down by those Panzer Grenadiers. Armored cars now blazing away once more, forcing the Rangers into the field. And the rifleman as well. Looks like there might be some. We have three hundred points left. The forces of Kraysor and his Panzer Grenadiers. Question is, will they succeed in the longer run? And Rifleman getting fired upon as they are swiftly defeating those Luftwaffe teams. They might consider getting out and seizing some territory though. Oh dear, armored car hitting a mine, damaging the engine of two of them, in fact. All three victory points are in the hands of the Americans though, and another armored car, barely any infantry. This could easily end up very badly, in particular now a motor pool is on the way, which might actually result in American armored car, which will easily put an end to those German ones. Not entirely sure what's going on here. Getting Seems to be some into confusion in repair priorities, and now Rangers are moving in. Bazookas in hand. And there we go, engaging the Luftwaffe and the armored cars. Luftwaffe might consider pulling back to a slightly more defensive position, perhaps sitting up in that building there. Or they might just return to repairing. While the armored cars do absolutely nothing. I'm not entirely sure I like this very passive approach from the Panzer League commander. In particular with those armored cars, but they're just presenting themselves as targets there. Rangers taking a bit of fire, but no losses miraculously. We do see some bot wire here and there from Rommel Slayer, not an entirely bad idea, but that's not going to stop those armored cars though, I fear. And Panzer is taking quite a bit of fire, getting Enemy cut down right in the open. They should get out there, they are negative cover, negative cover, in fact making them easier to hit and damage. And oh dear, looks like another Panzer the team will be lost. Unit down. Yes, oh tragic. We are losing ground. Pigeon crowd still moving about, but he really should consider getting some infantry instead of Another martyr? That's pretty weird. And now one armored car is knocked out by a sticky bomb and rifleman. As he starts really not looking good again without infantry, he really needs to use those pen armored cars up close to actually in some cases get close to them, which of course is exposing those sticky bombs, in particular now with Venom 2, which in fact gives increased range for those sticky bombs, making them even more lethal. And there we go, immobilized, another sticky bomb that's going to be gone and ever. Luftwaffe for trying to repair, but they're going to be easier target when all this happened, and oh dear, another armored car is going to be an armored cars can really end up very bad, and now the T-17 is stalking the field as well. And those smart of freeze are not even supporting each other, which will certainly be of help right there. T-17 taking a shot from the pack for not on this part of free. And now I'm right, Rangers are moving in the mass, digging bombs as well. Oh dear, looks like a Marlo is going to bite the dust very swiftly. There we go, ejecting through the rear. Fatally. Second mile of free, also without support. It's also going to be the dust, finally getting a pen from it. It seems like this is much too late. 
and another pump is lost. It looks like Armin Kart trying to cover it, and there we go, drawing the attention of the Rages and Rifleman. We have not eliminated the enemy looks like once more. We will be getting out of there. Looks like it. Still trying to fix it, but they are really low on health, low on men, and should set the treating there we go. And Armin Kart getting blasted hard. Really, really some bad moves we're seeing in this race. I mean, good first for sure, we're going to get the case. And now the armored cars Our enemies going up. The Yankees are grabbing our turret and front. I'm smelling for someone's deployment. Deployment. going to be deported to the eastern man. front after this fight. And now summoning on the Wirbelwind Flak Panzer equipped with the Flak Fjelling. That's its main gun to deal with air units. A lot of them were produced, but still more the than enemy is seizing our territory. Not as many as the murder wagon. I'm entirely sure if this were more than we get part though. The supply lines are broken. We have amount. territory cut off from supply. And killing those rather than forcing them out and killing a few. Uh, T-17 and Enemy possibly ranges and all that out on the field. He cannot look good, but still Crazer is hanging on, convinced that he can secure the final victory for the Farland in this area and keep Sherbrooke a bit more secured. But we shall have to see which way this will turn around. Ready! The Oblivion Flak Panzer inching slowly closer. T-17 moving on will okay. introduce Enemy some smoke. Yes, stunning the T-17. The Flak Panzer with its white phosphorus surround. Now Rangers firing a fuselage of a super rocket at the Beaver Wind, doing quite a bit of damage. Some getting suppressed, but that does not stop the super rockets from flying, hitting, and possibly annihilating it. No, it's a full retreat. Rangers being cut down in two great numbers to justify further sticking to the round. And we're seeing an off-map combat route. My goodness, that's quite a nice one. Heavy machine guns, range rifle, and an anti-tank gun. To really be the final nail in the coffin for Mr. Tracer and the remains of his forces. And now putting up a panzer support command. The last thing he needs is more logistics to actually support further types of units. He really needs some sort of units. He needs infantry. Possibly some Fulcrum Jäger would have helped him. Something else than just more buildings. And our American forces are advancing with heavy machine loaded. guns, anti tank guns, ranges, and all that. In fact, we're seeing more ranges than our riflemen. Quite interesting. And we're also seeing an armored car which apparently managed to make its way into the American base but was blown up as well. Uh, it's really some serious losses this fellow is suffering. He doesn't seem to be quite understanding the usage of combined arms. He just seems to be spamming one unit until that's blown away. Then spam something else. Then that's blown away. And then just, I know he left. just seems not to be a utterly floundering. Here. And doesn't know what to do. He seems utterly confused. What is he supposed to do? He's lost so much. He usually possibly has his luck with this, but of course, with the more up, stoic and solid approach from Rommel Slayer, that's really coming to short. There we go, charging this building. He's probably throwing this. There you go, Panzerbrunners will have to evacuate. They just managed it in the nick of time, but they're still heavily damaged and will be forced to retreat. The upper wind, some remaining Luftwaffe troops still not fully reinforced, and the Mart are free, trying to desperately hold their ground, but they are now retreating as well. As anti tank on rangers and riflemen are creeping close, and now this building being occupied by the heavy machine gun as well. Looks like they are shifting sides, and what do we see coming out of that logistic company? The Panzer Support Command, a Berg Tiger, that's quite interesting, of course. He has a lot of wreckages from all those armored cars and whatnot he lost. So it's certainly a viable idea. We are losing ground. The question is, will it actually work? Or will it just net him not much either? He is still heavily lacking in infantry. 
and only has some big flak pants, some mud of freeze and very little infantry to actually act as the main force and most of those are in fact support units. Bergtig are moving in, riflemen being awfully close already but the flak pants are strictly just moving in to suppress them, blasting away with his guns and getting sticky bomb in turn, armor car swiftly getting repaired and recovered. Nice job. Numerous rangers are moving in some of those with some machine guns. It seems like tearing apart those band rangers with the sword but not good at all. Another down for those band forces. Luftwaffe standing right out in the middle of everything, taking fire from the rangers. Armored car is prepared for that back seat. Really needs to go on and get in some of the armored car down there. And it looks like this armored car will be swiftly gone down once more by the rangers. They are taking a bit of fire from the back pants and the armor. I doubt it shall be enough quick. Then there's Hacking, Cut, and Suppressed. Right, uh, for some reason, the team aimed at mine. You can't troops. You cannot actually kill sticky bombs or anything. They're practically useless. I mean, it's completely the list. You can actually enemy kill units. Yeah. And there we go. Three armor car knocked down. Three of the flak. Right, that's the model three. I apologize for the model three knocked down. Another flak has a moving in. Still no infantry or what? No. Only the Luftwaffe are still not going to fully reinforce. The main just knocking out. That's the full retreating. And looks like another off map combat group might be called in. Berg Tiger moving about, ready to quickly salvage what is left of the force with only one flak panzer and some Luftwaffe to actually act as help. There we go, the second half map comic group now with the M18 Hellcat, which is currently, I'd recommend, in fact, over the M10, since this one actually doesn't have the bug where the M10 would normally fire, but nothing actually happened. This one doesn't have it, in fact, it's quite fast. Camouflage, and there we go, they actually is wrecked. Black Panzer is currently away, not doing anything, and those Luftwaffe troops are getting slaughtered as well. And there we go. The way to share book might finally be open. Things are certainly not looking good though. So what can we learn from this? Well for starters, don't just throw out what a vast horde of one unit and I hope that will secure your victory in particular by blobbing it up right close to your opponent. It might for example encourage him to go for grenades as Rommel Slayer so brilliantly did and absolutely massacred those Panzer Grenadiers. Then of course we saw another thing being spammed and you saw that also being rather nicely handled resulting in a lot of blown up armored cars. He didn't really use combined arms, he didn't for example try to get some pantomimes, some armored, some half tracks to support them for example, that might have helped. But no he didn't, he just spammed pantomimes, lost those, spammed armored cars, lost those and somehow didn't seem to know what to do then threw in some weeble wins, got that lost alongside the back Tiger. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this match. If you did, why not subscribe or tell your friends, and if you didn't, well, why not send in a replay of your own. And this is Imperial Dane saying, don't blob up your troops, and do be careful with grenades. Cheers.